why am I not worried for migrating my project from ASP.NET Core 3.1 to ASP.NET 5? Now let's see the reason. Welcome everyone. So today I am into another video tutorial and this is a little bit different. Now this will address why I am not worried about migrating from ASP.NET Core 3.1. The present playlist that I am showing about Web API Core with MVC client. And um, the reason is that, you know, ASP.NET 5, it was uh, released only last week, about uh, November 10 to 12, in a .NET conference in the United States, which was relayed all over the world. Remotely, it was held. But I will tell you the reason that it is so easy to do it. Uh, in the middle of this uh, series, which has already been started in ASP.NET Core 3.1 and recorded quite a few, so it's not appropriate to switch over to ASP.NET 5 and re-record everything, but I am promising you how it could so easily be done. So I have chosen the final project that I have uh, shown you in the introductory video. So I have run this introductory um, uh, video, the functionality of the completed program, and I will now convert it into ASP.NET 5 to show you how easy it is. And I will actually share the code of the final program a final project after the end of this series. So watch on. So first thing that I need to do is to actually um, go for the Visual Studio in installer. So I will do that now. Now to search for Visual Studio installer, I will write it over here on the search bar. So, so Visual Studio installer is on this left hand side you can see visual studio installer so i will click on this visual studio installer and it is telling do you want to allow this app to make changes so yes and it is getting the things ready so this is going to actually ask me to update so okay let me update the installer before proceeding so why i need the visual studio installer because the first and foremost prerequisite for ASP.NET 5 is to upgrade my Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition to 16.8 and above. So I, for that, I need the Visual Studio installer, but it is asking me to update the Visual Studio installer before proceeding. So let's click on update. It will take a wee bit and we'll come back again after it has downloaded and installed the Visual Studio install the latest version so visual studio installer is now installing it's now installed it is getting the things ready as you can see on the monitor so now the visual studio installer has updated itself and now you can see that Visual Studio Community on top, update available. This is 16.8.1. This is the version that is required for ASP.NET 5. Okay, so I will click on update. And starting download operation, starting install operation, I will come back to you after the Visual Studio Community edition is successfully upgraded. And then we'll continue from there to migrate our existing final project from ASP.NET Core 3.1 to ASP.NET 5. So please come back again and join me. Now you can see that Visual Studio Community 2019 is now all set to take the upgrade to ASP.NET 5 because it has now come to this version. So I will just launch to show you that it is actually the 16.8.1 version which is fit with the ASP.NET Core ASP.NET 5 SDK and all the requisites dependencies. So let's continue without a code to open the Visual Studio. And if I click on help, you can see it for yourself which version it is. Now you can see that it is version 1681. All right, so this is the version that is required for upgrading or migrating our project to ASP.NET 5, which we will now do.
Now that we have already upgraded our Visual Studio to the required version for uh, ASP.NET 5, I have loaded up the project, the finished project again, which I have showed in the beginning of this series, the first introduction, the finished product that we are aiming to reach at the end of this complete uh, episodes. So I have loaded the finished project and I have double clicked the web API project to open the project file. So here the target framework, the first thing is that I have to change the target framework to net 5.0. And also this project is also completed because I'm showing the completed project. So this also needs to be changed to net 5.0 instead of net core app 3.1 net 5.0 save all okay and all that I need to change is to upgrade these installed packages to the version compatible with version 5 you know ASP.NET ASP .NET 5 so let us update it the first package is microsoft.aspnetcode.mvc.newtonsoft.json so I will look for this version 5 and I will update so this package is updated to the version 5 and you can see the project 5 now this is already changed to version 5.0.0 okay now similarly other NuGet packages wherever there is a update is available I will update so this also needs to be updated to 5 so version 5 fair enough, fair enough isn't it so 3.1 refers to probably ASP.NET Core 3.1 and 5.0.0 is for ASP.NET 5. So I have to update wherever there is an update available. Now these two packages are updated to version 5 and let's also update the other versions and I will come back with the new project file which will be automatically rewritten with these updated versions. Let's also update these two Serilog packages because updated versions are available. So let's change it to the latest one. And update. Now all my packages, NuGet packages for this Web API project has been updated and so is the project 5 with the latest versions of everything. This is the version 5, version 5 and wherever some other versions but the updated versions were available, I have updated to the latest version. Now let's go back to the Web API Consume project and let's click on to the NuGet Packages Manager, Manage NuGet Packages. So here only one package needs to be updated to version 5 and let us upgrade it to version 5 to make it fully compatible with the ASP.NET 5 and then update and these two other versions are already the upgraded versions. So click on I accept. So, so in this MVC client project also, all of these NuGet packages are already up to their updated version. So had there been any update available, you would have seen that it would have been um, marked with a blue icon rather than a green icon. So green icon are all updated versions. So similarly, the project file has also upgraded it, itself. So now let's click on the start icon to start the project, to start the solution having these two projects and let's see now within this solution both the projects have come up this is the API is running and this is the MVC clients so if you click here you can get all the customers let's see 
So all the customers are there. You can delete it. You can update a customer. Update the customer. You can go back. You can go to the order page. You can delete an order. You can get an order. Okay, so it means everything is functional and I have been able to successfully uh, migrate it from ASP.NET Core 3.1 to ASP.NET 5. So in this lecture, we have successfully been able to migrate from ASP.NET Core 3.1 and to ASP.NET 5.0, which is a unification of the ASP.NET framework and the ASP.NET Core framework. So we have learned a lot in this lecture and keep watching and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel which is a request once again